So as we have just discussed about, you know, the uh, presence of, uh, you know, uh, undefined. So similarly, if you have a number, uh, you know, a num number, and if you want to set this uh, to some number at some point, and we want to set it to uh, null also at some point. Uh, so for that, I think, uh, you know, uh, we, we also need to be able to give it the data type null, okay? Um, so if you give the data type number comma undefined, uh, that does not allow us to uh, set um, null to it, okay? Uh, we need to set number uh, slash null. And if you want to actually be able to do uh, all three of these, uh, uh, so if you want to do all three of these, so we'll actually have to set uh, like this, that the value of num can be number or null or undefined, okay? So, uh, you know, setting up nullability also uh, needs its own data type null has its data type though uh, you know uh, if you look at uh, the console.log value of uh, num if i print it here and then i print it here and then i print it after undefined uh, you see that at runtime in javascript there is no uh, uh, data type for null uh, if you set something to null and you take the data type what you get is that uh, I don't know, uh, would you like to guess? Uh, do you know what you get when something is null and you uh, do the type of? It's an interesting result. So here we go. As you see, the data type comes out to be object if uh, the value of something is null. That's what happens in JavaScript at runtime. But in TypeScript, there is a data type called uh, null, okay? So if, uh, an, uh, you know, uh, if variable has a number null, undefined all three data is defined only then we can actually assign null and undefined values to it so uh, whether things are nullable or not you need to be explicit uh, about that as well okay